Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Bayswater Station right now and followed up with the last video after taking the 46. Now it's time to take 45. Yes. Now according, if you guys are watching, watching from the playlist of Transperth bus routes, you will be watching this before the 46, but it's okay. We just, I'm just going in order of my filming. So we will be departing from Stand 3 over there. I've been waiting for 30 minutes already because the timing was completely wrong earlier on. So, but it should be all right. Here's the bus stands on the main road. Put it up now, the numbers. So now last video we took 46, but I did not actually went ahead and I didn't actually come or go over to actually check out the 46 stand towards the depot. Stand five at the back. I didn't read what is on there with you guys. So we're gonna read it with you guys today for this video. Here's the uh, 46 extensions to Rally Road Basewater. It actually says Rally Relay Road Basewater on it. Well, that one at the back, it just says to Bayswater via Embleton Avenue. It literally just said that, to Bayswater, <laughs> which is so stupid. Now, the uh, map on the stand does says Bayswater bus depot on the thing for the, for the, the, the destination on the stand. So, it does say Bayswater depot. So you see, it does set Bayswater Depot on the stand and there's a time stop marked as. And then the next stop also is a time stop, two times up in a row. But earlier I saw a bus departing, 46. First things first, it was an Arctic. What the hell is an Arctic doing on this stupid route? <laughs> Why the hell needs an Arctic on this stupid thing? Probably just going back to Bayswater Depot, but still. Why an Arctic? Uh, surprisingly decent people took the last one, like three people still. Not, not, not like anything still, but at least someone took the last service. And the Desto, it literally doesn't say to Bayswater Depot on the Desto. It literally just said Embleton, Embleton Avenue on the Desto. That's basically what it says. Literally, the Desto is saying this stop, the, the stop before the depot. That's the Desto. It says Embleton Avenue for the Desto. So that's why obviously every driver is going to get confused and kick people out at this stop instead of actually going to the depot first and as the terminus because the freaking thing doesn't even say space for a dot bus depot it's just an Embleton Avenue for the Desto which is so bad so that's why but we'll take 45 now now we have a similar case of a bus going to terminate at the depot which is route 75 down in Canningvale but uh, that one's a PATH bus driving down to the Swan depot so that's why they did set up a stand for Canningvale depot for the 75 because it was a different depot buses but for that one, the Desto does set Canningvale on it. At least it just says Canningvale. It doesn't say Canningvale bus depot, but at least it said Canningvale. So at least it said the same, the correct thing actually for real is going to the suburb of Canningvale. But over here is going to Bayswater Depot, and this Bayswater Depot is not even in Embleton. It's actually technically back into the Bayswater suburb. So that's why. Now here we are, take 45 now. This is basically the replacement of Route 55 from before, which goes from Bazendine Town Centre to Elizabeth Key. Okay, to Elizabeth Key, bus station, via Guildford Road and all of that stuff. But it has been withdrawn and replaced by this short shuttle service between the two stations on the uh, Midland Line. So start from Bayswater, drive back down to Guildford Road, returns onto Guildford Road, but there's a slight path change with the 55. 55 will serve industrial areas near Ashfield after crossing Tonkin Highway underneath, while this thing will serve housing before crossing underneath of Tonkin Highway to go in and continue its path. Now all the way here are the same. Okay, all the way, this, this section are the same as the 55, but here some of the stops are different. Okay, I think Hardy Road is the same stops all the way to the end as the 55. But these stops are serving houses now instead of actually serving industry areas. So which is way better than, and, than serving the uh, industry because... Oh, there's the 45 arrived, 3387. Then I guess, Water Station, my Asprey just arrived. So it might be this bus doing our service later on. So, unfortunately it's more boring buses, but that's fine. So there's the bus just drove in here without me realizing. Unfortunately, actually, because I didn't film a bus actually towards this direction, I won't be able to show you guys the loop around, but that's fine. So let's go to Bazandine now. I've taken 55 the other direction. So I've experienced the other direction path, but I will, so that's why I tried to do this direction for the 45. Let's go. Just something random. What the hell they're doing over there? 
that like a traffic light or something? What the hell are they doing? And also, yeah, gas pass at the back for 41. Ugh, terrible. <laughs> what the hell they're doing over there? Jesus. Well, hopefully we can start our service soon. Well. Well, there he goes. Literally immediate departure right as soon as he got back onto the bus. This is the 209 service. Alright, so originally 55 of course doesn't drive up here and also with that 41 at the front, 2011 also doesn't come up here. But 41 is basically this road on King William Street is extra, the remaining path is the same, so that's why. But there are way more routes on the stands over here now, before there's only 998, 99 circle routes and the 48, but now it's 40, and then plus 41 and 45. And then also the train replacement stop is still here. Unfortunately, again, they've removed the 901 and 902 on the stand because I don't think they have enough space for that for now. Yep, for this street, technically, if you just want to go up to Bayswater Station, it's like double the frequency now because of two extra routes. Of course, most of the time you'll be just waiting for a circle route to drive around here, but yeah. There's the 41. Actually, no routes, actually, I want to say, comes from the straight over there, come from straight, or go straight before, but now with the 41 extended, it's going straight over that way now. There's the sign. 41 goes straight, 45 turns left. Uh, I don't think this is actually a Bayswater bus, I think this is a Mori bus. Before it was actually, this, this guy, 3387, was down in Welshpool. But now it's actually got swapped to Morley, I think. So right here is the exact same as the 55, but we're gonna turn here. Yep, we're gonna turn right here to serve the houses over here. Before the 55 goes straight, to cross Tonkin Highway first and then enter the industrial area, but we're gonna serve these houses over here now which these houses actually wasn't served for years until this change happened. This is the brand new path, let's do it. And we have a very cool spot to go underneath Tonkin Highway upcoming here. So that's why we have this last section. The airport line tunnel is literally just right here, underneath us, right here. But unfortunately because it doesn't stop, so these guys doesn't get a service. Okay, it's pretty loopy in here actually. But this area is definitely look cool and there's people using it! There you go! Also gonna constantly check on the driver just to make sure no stupid things. So all of these stands are brand new. So all of the stops in the industrial area should have been removed and we're gonna go underneath through a very cool tunnel to go cross to bind with the good old 55 path. Alright, so we turn left right at the front over there.
right here, and then we go underneath. There are more stops here. Yep, here's the underneath tunnel. One stop right in front of this uh, underpass, and we'll go through. Very awesome looking. And made it over here. And we're bind with the good old 55 path very soon. And this is the uh, old stops already. So this is the old stop, so from here all the way to the Bassendine Town Center, same as 55. When I took the 55 the first time, oh my gosh! When I took the 55, actually, for the, oh my gosh, so many people here. When I took 55 for the first time, I was like so amazed by how slow it is inside this area. It literally looped so much. That's literally how long it takes. It takes 20 minutes to loop all the way from Bayswater to Bassendine Town Center. 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, before this 55 was like 50 something minutes, almost 55 minutes for 55 just because of going to Guildford Road and then all the way to the city as well, so... Oh my gosh, almost every single stop with people here, what the hell? Oh, ram. Alright, all right, continue our way through. And also the, the driver stupidly actually he set the ramp down, but usually as soon as you close the door, the ramp will come back up inside and basically will put up the ramp right away. This driver decided to actually press the button to put the ramp away first before closing the door. Like what? That's like waste of time. Alright, left turn. Okay, so far okay. Not too many stops. I mean, not too many people inside here. This is the exact same stop, but unfortunate is that they have to change all of the signs <laughs> to 45 for the stands. Now, this route is meant to actually just basically go to where the Bazandine Station uh, bus stop is. The Bazandine Station bus interchange is across the tracks, but unfortunately, because we're on this side of the tracks, we can't cross back over. So that's why they just terminate somewhere in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the uh, base uh, Bazinin suburb to stop close by the station and then just call that there. Now, unfortunate is that because of this route, you have to take trains before you actually change to this thing to come in, come in here. And then of the timing is not great. Earlier on I was actually after finishing the 46, I have to wait for 45 minutes regardless because I want to take the service. But someone else was also just got off the train and then wants to actually take the 45 and then she asked me how long is the next 45? And I was like 45 minutes. <laughs> and I was like, and then he was like, oh no. <laughs> you see how bad the timing is with the train sometimes with this stuff? It doesn't really match that well. When you actually take from the city, you can get a good connection with the stuff for the 55 before because you can just wait for the 55 instead of actually taking the trains and then failed the connection and then you're just stuck there. And I ended off just told that lady just like, oh, you just, just because she actually got off the airport line train. So I was like, just go back up and take the Midland line train to Bazandine and you go the other way for the 45 because there's actually a, a bus departing in Bazandine 15 minutes from that period of time, which for sure 15 minutes you can get to Bazandine with the train. So that's why I told her to go that way instead. Which she did. At the end, she did went back up and rushed the train and then went over, so.
Now this guy drove way fa way better than the driver last time. The last last time the driver drove so slowly through this area. So we're inside Ashfield right now. That's basically what we're doing. This is the whole suburb of Ashfield. Unfortunate for these guys, the train station is honestly not close at all to the uh, to the to the houses back here. So not a very viable strategy to take the trains and walk in here. Honestly, not very close, but. But literally this whole area back here is just houses, there's literally nothing back here, so... So many bumps in here. What the hell? Okay, so many turns. You see how many turns this is? And I think I saw the train tracks at the front, but we're not gonna go there. And yes, we got exciting news regarding the train network. Yanchep Station, Yanchep Extension is set to open on July 14th this year. It's already three months delayed, by the way. It meant to open like now, at April. But what the hell is this path? Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. I was like, is this like, is this like road close over here? No. Just literally turning right here. What the hell? Oh, we're turning here. Hello. So true. Turning in the, in the middle of the road closure over here. Like what? Okay, that was bad. There. That was really bad. Okay, yes, this is uh, this is one of the cooler paths in here with underneath all of these trees here. Which is a very similar path as the 28 near Claremont, the Mount Claremont area. Which I plan to actually film that soon because I have a request nearby. So I'd rather just film 28 together. I really like 28, it's one of my favorite routes in the Claremont area. But the thing is really for this route, way too many turns. Now for these stops over here, that is actually just a random pole, these old stops that are just having a pole on the side, then it's good because they don't need to change these things, but for well the freaking, the other side for some of the stands that actually for real has the route details on them, they have to change them all, which is so bad. We're almost at the town center, we're almost there.
Like, why? <laughs> why? Just click door close, and then the RAM will come will just basically put away. Automatically, after you close the door, the RAM will just get put away if you just close the door. And then this guy just decides to put the RAM away first, then close the door. <laughs> like, what? It's just like in Hong Kong when I took when I take the minibuses, those automatic doors, minibuses, the Toyota flip doors, airplane doors, minibuses. When the driver actually press the button to close the door, then remove the handbrake. That's exactly the same feeling because if you release the handbrake, the door will close automatically. Here we are at the terminus. Not here yet. Not here. We need to turn here into the town. Here's the Spasendin Town Center. And we'll just terminate at the random slope over here. Oh my gosh. There's a stop here. <laughs> wow. There's that stop right there, which which he almost missed, but he stopped just on time. The car is blocking his way. And we'll turn at the front another left and we'll terminate on a random slope. So which I think is right here. And Ambazanin Station is just outside there. We're not here. Oh, another stop first, okay. There's Ambazanin Shopping Center. And then next week I will just take trains right back out to Bayswater and I'll continue taking the routes. I'll take 41 next. And there's Bazanin Station at the front. You can, oh my gosh. You can see the bridge all the way at the front there. I'll fold out. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. So I can't even talk because the camera can't focus. There's Bazanin Station literally just right there, but we can't go back across the other side of the tracks. So. We turn left here, there's Bassin Station, turn left right here, there's random slope. There's random slope, you see this random slope here, we turn late right here. This is the terminus, right there. Literally just random slope. And drop off. There's the Desto there, Bassin Dean Town Center via Ashfield. Is he just doing another service? He literally just did one to Bayswater, and he did this one to Bassin Dean now. And he's doing backwards again. There's the sign 45 to Bayswater Station, before it was 55 to Elizabeth Key. He's not switching to desktop, but that's basically it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Another route taken. So, yeah, he is, he is just going back. <laughs> is he going back right away or is laying over first? But this is a very usual layover spot for the 55 before, so it's not really that big of a deal. Good that I actually have taken all four of the Guildford Road routes before they get changed. So that's why I've taken 55. I've also taken 48 and also taken 50 now. So there it goes. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Now I'm going to go back to take the trains and try to catch the uh, next uh, three. Uh, I think at 3.08 back at Bayswater for my 41. I have 41, 42 and 43 left to take. So we will finish those off today as well. Not going to film them now. So I will see you guys next time. Click on this video up top, and next video for buses will be back to some other uh, uh, requests. So these are just jumped in, jumped the queue to feature with the new changes at the same time. So see you guys next time. Click on this video up top, and peace.